So I've been working on the code for this thing for about 12 hours now, and it's kicking my ass. Uh, I'm starting to wonder whether I'm ever going to be able to do this. This project might not actually go ahead. It's, uh, it's way harder than I thought. Getting things to do random things and then wait a while and then do random things again is a lot harder than I thought. Well, <laughs> I've been at this for so many hours I can't even keep track anymore. I'm starting to question whether I'm actually going to be able to do this project. I may have uh, bitten off more than uh, more than I can chew. These, my skill level is uh, apparently lacking. Uh, doing a bunch of fans and dispersing scents, uh, but with random intervals, is a lot harder than what I thought. To do it reliably in the code and also turn things on and off. So I'm not sure whether what I'm going to do next here. Uh, I've called in some reinforcements and double checking my code, but at this point I'm not sure whether I'm going to be able to find the problems. Getting this prototype to do one fan on and off in intervals was no problem, but it's proving very hard to do six of them and keep the intervals random. Uh, this is a lot harder than what I thought, but we are online. Um, I can fake one fan working, but uh, Oh, this is a lot of code, and uh, it is giving me fits. But uh, on a plus note, I'm learning Visual Studio a little bit better because uh, the Arduino ID was uh, really making me mad. Well, I did it. Uh, I don't have functional code. I don't have a functional circuit board. I don't have a functional product, but I launched the website. If you go to sentvr.ca, this is the site. It is up. And I've given myself 40 days, 16 hours, 37 minutes to get this product on the go. Uh, you can check out the artwork on the website. I actually generated the logo and artwork with AI. It was completely AI generated and it came out awesome. It looks so cool. It looks uh, well, exactly what I'm going to be using the, the sense for is for um, combat situations and stuff. So, like, I play Onward. So, yeah, it's pretty cool, but uh, not very good without a product. I need to get that code working. Yeah. Oh, I had to go raiding the old containies tonight. Remember this? We made a lab shaker ages ago, and I need it. We need to do some lab work coming up. Perfect. So what I have is a need to do some scents for the scent VR, and I want to make a gunpowder smell, a cordite smell. And uh, I have a lead on a recipe, but I'm going to need to extract the scents myself. So we'll break out the old glassware. And I even have, um, well, it's a cheap, not lab grade stir, but a stir nonetheless with little magnets. And we can use that. And I also have my lab shaker. The stir will be good, but I think the shaker will be better. So it fits this flask and this one, but it bounces around. And that's pretty much all my glassware. But I just need to figure out, I don't remember what what voltage uh, this ran on, to be honest. I think they're 12 volt motors. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's for 12 volt. And then I just ran a motor control. But I think nine is about where I want to run it, but I'm just gonna try. Do this another way. Try driving the motor. We don't need no stinking control. Should be all right. The motor works fine. Wee! So, five volts is the max for that. I guess I should have known those would be five volts. Okay. See if I can find a motor controller. 
No, it does work. It's right at the limit of what that motor controller can provide, I guess. Yeah, no, it's fine. Five volts. Yeah, we're good. Works good. There's just a little bit of friction in it. It's not the strongest motor, but that'll do. Phillips, five and a half volt, one and a half amp. That should do more than enough. We'll fire this up. I have that emotional damage stuck in my head all day. And this wiring job is gonna be just perfect for it. This doesn't damage your emotions, nothing well, because I am not putting a connector or a strain relief or nothing, because I've used this thing grand total of zero times since I made it, so. Ouch! Not very often that happens. Hands are getting soft. Which one is positive? Which one of you guys? But have the positive outlook on life. Are you marked? Oh, you are marked. You must be at one old power supply. You are very much marked. No heat shrink, electrical tape today, only the best. Only the best will do for this heap of junk. I shouldn't call it that, it will work for what we want. It'll do exactly what we want. Whee! snazzy -rific. Wow! I'll shake things. Emotional damage. Oh yeah, look at that. Shoddiest wiring ever. Let's do it on an angle and leave some sticky out and everything. So it's, oh yeah. Three-year-old could totally do better. Never throw away your wall warts. Save them all, because they all become projects eventually. You'd be surprised how often you need some pretty wacky voltages. Five volts, 12 volts though, most common. Goop all the things. Future me will surely curse past me, but for now, let's see. Noe and Pedro of Adafruit designed this and shared it. Oh yeah! That should do. We can do a nice gentle shake. Lovely jubbly. And everything into its own little tote. And the best part, it just 
makes my OCD happy. Chem lab label. And now we can just grab this and go without me having to spend all night searching for stuff and repairing lab shakers before I can use it. I have a centrifuge too. If you guys want to see that someday we can build it. I have all the pieces and I have, have all of the containers for the centrifuge and convenient enough these will be for packaging my scents for scent VR in but uh, I never assembled the centrifuge yet. I'm not sure whether I'll need it for scent extraction. I don't think so. Um, just a maybe a distill setup. Even have test tubes, which will make it super easy to have my uh, my distillate um, separate. So if I'm separating oil and um, well, basically water. If I steam uh, distill anything uh, to pull the extraction, it'll just let it settle here, and then I'll just use a pipette to pull it from the bottom. Not perfect, but uh, it'll do. And even a whole raft of big ones. I ordered all this stuff from China before COVID hit and got them at uh, fractions of pennies, and I'm so glad I did because, well, I have basically a lifetime supply as long as they don't degrade, which they shouldn't. So, yeah, cool. Oh, all in one container, finally, for the first time in their lives. Not that I do much lab work, but when I decide to, we'll be all set again. Perfect. Take the sensors off, as I'm always redoing my packaging. I move the sensors to their own bin. I'll deal with that later. 